The 2020 Summer Olympic and Paralympic Games will arrive in Tokyo a year late. Competition set to start the last week of July and a couple of very fast rowers from Newton and Weston, Mass will go there and go for the gold. Hi, Lisa. Jevy Stone of Newton, Mass and Weston's Christy Wagner have rowed different roads to the Olympics. Jevy comes from Olympic stock. Both her parents were Olympic rowers and her dad is now her coach. So he is definitely the boss and he knows best. Um, he does listen to input though, which I appreciate, and it's a bit of a partnership. Meanwhile, her other partner, Christy, took up rowing as a young teenager, and the dream began soon thereafter. I was able to see Olympic rowers on the Charl. It's, it's, it's accessible to you, and so if you can see it, you can become it. Jevy has actually become it three times now, racing in the London Olympics in 2012 and taking home a silver medal in the women's single skulls four years ago in Rio. Meanwhile, this is Christie's first trip to the Olympics. She'll be leaning on Jevy's experience, both when they get to Tokyo and now during the training, which includes rowing about 100 miles a week. I'm choosing to do this and that I get to do it. Um, so it's not a sacrifice so much as, you know, a choice, a choice. Yeah, that's a better way to put it. Yeah, and it is. It doesn't feel like a job. It's a passion. When you're out on the water trying to go fast, all you can think about is trying to go fast. Get the blade in the water, get the blade out of the water. Perfect synchronicity with your partner has to be top of mind. But in the back of their minds, Jevy and Christy always had that ultimate goal of getting to Tokyo. In the last 10 strokes of our trials race, Christy did yell Tokyo. Yeah, um, that was, but that was the first time I even thought about it. So, yeah. And it was, it was, I mean, at that point, something would have, catastrophic would have had to happen for so. us to lose. And it was a pretty exciting last 10 strokes. <laughs> so it's Christie's first Olympics and it will be Jevy's last. She'll be 36 years old when she arrives in Tokyo in July and says it's time to pursue her medical career. Would be nice to have a gold medal hanging around her neck with that stethoscope. And we wish them all the best.